Good morning guys. I have a quick tutorial for you. Um, I have some like little um, journaling flip out books, I think I probably call them. Um, I've got a heart one and I've got like a rectangle one. Um, you can do any shape as long as it's sort of like symmetrical. So I've done these two and this is a little heart one which is held together with a little um, paper clip. Um, and what they do, they just open out like this. Um, and then we've got some journaling spots down here. So there we are. So that's really nice. And they just fold up and fold in. And what it is, is two card hearts. One is cut down through the middle. And then I've just put some paper hearts on, on the inside to cover it up so you can journal on it. And then I've just folded a heart um, onto this side so it can be pulled out. So we've got two of those. And there we are, it's very, very quick, very simple to make. Um, and then it's just held together with a little bit of um, fabric on a paper clip. And I've made some fabric um, little hinges on there. And on this one, the hinges I've made, I've actually made some cardboard hinges. Um, so this is the same principle. I've just held it on the back here, look, with a bit of, I've sewn some paper around here. Um, and some to hold the ribbon in. So this is just a little rectangle one and I've decoupaged a little flower on the front. So this one just opens up like a little booklet. These come out to either side and then this one comes down from there. So you've got lots of journaling space on there and then it just all folds up like that. So what you can do, you can either um, tie it or you can pop a little paper clip on there. So whichever is easiest for you um, to, to pop it in and then just pop it into your pocket in your in your journal um, or in a little tuck. And I thought that was really pretty. So I'm going to show you how I've done that. So let's pop these to the side. I'm going to show you how to do the rectangle one. Um, but I'll just show you what I did here. Look for the for the heart one. I've just cut out two hearts. Um, so you can get a template, you can print a template off, the, off Google um, and they're quite simple to actually cut one out. So you just fold a piece of paper in half and then draw half a heart and then just cut it out. And then you'll have a template which is the same size for all of them. Um, so that's quite quick and easy. So what you do, you need two of these. So you need one and then the other one you want to cut down the middle. So like that. So when you do your heart, try and get one or try and cut these so they're straight because that's going to be your hinges. Um, so when you open it out, so you need them to be straight and then it can just curve up from the top there. So what I did on that one was just it's very, very simple. And then what you do for the heart, so you've got this one here like this. So that's your little flaps that come out and this one you take another paper heart and then you want the folded half on the outside like that so that can fold in and then that folds in again so there so it's just looks like that so that's quite simple on that one but I'm going to show you how I did the rectangle one which is this one so you can either cut it out of a piece of card but what I've done here I've got two postcards and then I've just cut one in half like so and then what we do then we have a piece of this is tea dyed paper so it's got to be just slightly smaller than the postcard and then I've just folded it in half so you need two just a, a bigger piece okay so it goes sticks on there and the same for these pieces which is obviously the same size as that piece the whole postcard just folded in half so we've got one to go on that side and then we've got one to go on that side so they flip out like that okay so to pop them together what you want to do it's a bit awkward today because I've got my camera in a different angle so I've got the tripod right on my elbow so what I've done, this is a lovely one, this is a new one I've got, this is Rusty Hinge. Um, I couldn't get the um, other one that I like, 
um, which I can't remember what it's called now. It's this one, which is brushed corduroy. I like that one. I like the colour of that one. This one is a lot more orange. But it's very, very difficult to get some of the Tim Holtz inks here. So I'm just going to just edge this here, look. So these are really, really nice just to pop into a journal. Just something a little extra in there. Um, just something nice because if you're, you're making or selling your journals, it's quite nice to have something popped in there that's a little bit different. Um, and these are quite simple and easy to make. So let's just edge a little bit of this one as well. So what you can do for the hingy bits, I've used um, a bit of fabric on one um, and on the other one I've just used a bit of card and you can also use washi tape. So it depends on how quick you want to make them or you can make them quite elaborate. Okay, so that then on here like that. Okay, let's just edge these up a little bit with the colour on the edges. Oh, I just wanted to say um, a big thank you to everybody that was asking about my mum. She's um, on the mend, thank you. Um, I told her that you all inquired about her and she was um, put a big smile on her face so she thought that was wonderful so thank you so much to everybody um, it's slowly getting better so I still have her dogs I'm looking after her two little dogs for her um, and they're being good as gold so that's really good Obviously, you can make them out of whatever you like and just um, to go with what journals that you're making, whether you're making nice botanical ones or fairy ones or parish themed ones, you have anything. There we go. So what I'm going to do first, let's, have, let's pop that to there. We need to stick these together, okay, to make a little little flaps. So what I've done here, I've got a little bit of washi tape for these ones, just to show you, you can use anything just to hold them together. Stick it on there like that and just bend it over. Oops, that wasn't very level. Go. That's one hinge. Now I shall put this one on here like this. It doesn't really matter. What I did on the other ones, I actually used some sticky tape, like cellar tape, and um, I actually sewed. If you look at this one, I used some sticky tape to hold it on in the beginning. And then I've actually put a piece of fabric on there and just sewed it up either side here. So you can see a little tiny little shiny bit where it's the sellotape. Um, so it just reinforces it a little bit more. Um, but this one, I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape on this one. Like that. For now, to hold it together. So then we want to stick in our piece of paper. So I'm just going to use a glue stick for this one. Just pop some glue on here. And again, you can actually um, go round it on with the um, sewing machine, if you like. Pop that on 
into that straight. So if you wanted to stop it from curling up around the edges, oops, you can um, just sew around the edges like that. So that's that first bit. So that comes up like that. Is go in and I'm going to stick these on and you can glue it down with whatever you like whether you 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 prefer double-sided tape or any other glue I'm just using the glue stick because it's quick quick and easy and it and you can move it about a little bit too. There we are. And then this side. Put this down like that. So that's those on there, like there, like that. So again, you can use some material or anything on there, on here. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to just decorate the front. So if I pop that down. Okay, let's have a look. I've got some stamps on here. So I'm just going to put some butterflies on the front, look. So I'm going to... I've got it the right way round. I think I'll do it, stamp it like this way. Just so I've got some stamps underneath. There's my little thing here. Pop it in the same rusty colour, which I think is a really lovely colour. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, just edge the little butterflies. These are just some fussy <coughs> butterflies that I've um, cut out. Put those on here. Like that. Oopsie daisy. And then you can actually just go over with the light coating of gesso and it just sort of like softens the colour a little bit, which I quite like. I think I'd probably go over this with a bit of fabric. I'm not quite sure I, I like that washi tape on there. So how quick, that's really, really quick and easy. Let's stick it. Let me see if I've got I've got some of this fabric here, which I well, I think that might make it look a little bit better. Just rip it off. And then again, like I said, you could sew it because this is the same fabric that I used on here. And I think it sort of like blends in a little bit better. So what I'm going to do. Just tear that little bit off like there. And that's long enough. There we go. A little bit of upper tack on here.
makes it look a little bit more rustic then. Let's do this one. Take a piece. There we go. You could use ribbon, you could use a little bit of seam binding, anything that goes with what you're doing. I think I'll probably just sew that as well. But there we go, I think that looks really nice. It's just this edge a little bit there. Nice little booklet, little flip out journaling booklet to pop into your uh, journals. I thought that was really quick and really easy. There we go, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just a quick little tutorial. Again, you can pop it with a little flower on there. It's just my seam binding flowers, which I've popped onto a, a paper clip. So, again, you can paper clip it together. Um, which I've done on this one or you can actually tie it with a little bit of ribbon on the back here so they're all the same um, here so I did sew this one down as well so it depends how how much you're going to use it um, and you can just sew it on top of that looked really nice there we go so again if you wanted to do the um, it's the same principle if you wanted to do the, the heart one so you just need um, three paper hearts for the inserts, which is slightly smaller um, than the two of the cardboard ones. You need two cardboard and three hearts, so it's exactly the same. So they just flip in like that. And I've just stuck a little bit of fussy cut on there um, and some stamped, again, some of the lovely little dragonflies and popped a little bit of a paper clip on there. There we go, so I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. Um, just to let you know, I am making stuff, I've got orders, that's why I've not been on um, doing a video before. Um, so I've been just trying to catch up with my orders. Um, I've got a few things to go on the Etsy site as well, so please keep taking a look. Um, so there we go. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. Um, I have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Thank you, bye bye.